What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I have The Last of Us Part 2 Collector's Edition with us here. And uh, we're going to do a little unboxing of that today. So this is the outer box. I've already taken the box out of the box. Okay. So. Inside that box is another box. And I think this is going to be a running theme. But inside this box is going to be another box. Yeah, let me let me move this for a second. All right. Yep. <sighs> Running joke. All right. So here at the top, uh, we've got our steel book wrapped in plastic. Okay, cool. Got an art book here. Yeah, so art. Some of the different characters. Don't really feel too much from that. Okay, and then here, looks like we got something else. Alright, this appears to be... Uh, like a case. Right? The little sleeve. Okay. This is cool. So I'm going to read this out to you guys. But there's a, there's a photo right there. All the green <laughs> phasing out on our green screen. Uh, what would you do if someone you loved was the victim of a cruel and violent act? How easily could one... One's mind tipped toward violent retribution. How far would you go to bring the people responsible to justice? If you were successful, how would it change you? Would you ever be the same? With The Last of Us Part Two, we set out to create an experience that explores these difficult questions, the darkest sides of human nature, and the vicious cycles of violence that we witness in the world around us on a daily basis. The result is a game crafted by hundreds of developers that push themselves to create something more than mere entertainment. A game that we're incredibly proud of and that we hope will enthrall you and challenge your own views of justice and empathy. On behalf of everyone at Naughty Dog, we want to thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Neil Druckmann, director, The Last of Us, part two. So, really cool that they uh, included a message from Neil. So this this little... Little book here can just go right back in that. Like so, yeah, so we got that. We got the art book. And uh, this layer just comes right off. And below that, get into the sweet stuff, right? All right, so if we unfold this plastic here, all right, looks like we have Ellie's bracelet. And then right here, we have some of the little little things that you might see uh, on Ellie's backpack, little pins and such. We got a wolf, a knife, a butterfly, um, stop sign with a with the firefly symbol on it, uh, the naughty dog paw print, and and then the Last of Us Part Two, another pin there. And then we have a couple stickers. Uh, looks like The Last of Us Part Two and The Butterfly and Naughty Dog. Um, so that's cool. And then that layer comes off. Uh, very neatly organized, I gotta say. Okay. So put that there. Just kind of neatly do this because I'll, I'll probably want to put things back in the box. And that's the hardest thing I have. Uh, when we get these collector's editions. That they are so difficult to get back in the box. Alright. I think we're to the statue.
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, you guys are going to love this. Okay. <laughs> Let me put it down. Pull it up. You know what? That's pretty detailed. Pretty uh, beautifully modeled. Even the guitar has signs of wear and scratches on it. Um, the blood almost kind of has a shine to it. You can see that. Um, it looks real. Got a nice texture to it as well. But yeah, very, very well made. I am pleased. So. Put that up there. I'll, I'll take a few photos as well. But wow. What a beautiful collector's edition. Um, a lot of stuff here, very feature rich, and I, I think I'm going to keep it out for a while, um, before I box it up, we might show it off on stream, but I want to, I want to thank you guys for watching, yeah. and I hope, I hope you guys, um, enjoyed this unboxing, it's been a little while since we've been able to do any of these, um, just because there haven't been very many things to unbox. And just kind of the current current state of the world, I would say, is a little fragile at the moment. And uh, things are changing and, you know, we're dealing with all sorts of stuff. And so the ability, the developers, to be able to still put this game out and release it as if, as if we were living in the normal world, uh, not under a pandemic. Um, and making a game about a pandemic during a pandemic uh, is is pretty pretty bold. But I'm very excited. And this last week we recently played um, The Last of Us on stream, and so it was really nice to uh, once again for like several times I've played the game. Um, it was really good to jump back into this world and make sure that we were caught up on the characters and all their actions, you know, all the plot points, the side lore items that we find uh, throughout the campaign. I'm going to make sure I don't pick up anything here. Okay. Um, so I get a, PlayStation, a set of PlayStation Network avatars, a set of six, a PS4 dynamic theme, the digital soundtrack, and a digital mini art book from Dark Horse. Um, and on top of that, there are the discs on the inside there looking good. Um, yeah, it looks like there is a data disc and a play disc. So the black disc is the play disc and the one up front is the data disc. So it looks like we'll be doing some installing uh, before we jump into this. But uh, first thing, Saturday, Last of Us Part Two. Um, spoiler free, uh, it will be a sub only stream to limit the people that come in and spoil. We want this to be a moment, uh, with our streaming community here on Twitch and, uh, we want it to be special for us and, and we want it to remain that way. So very beautiful. Sorry. It's, it's phasing out my green there, but 
I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, and catch you tomorrow for the playthrough. Bye.